stronger than your dad. <laughs> My dad's stronger than your dad. He's put that in a child, right. and that is also very, although there can be difficult situations, God's heart is that that can be repaired, that if That's people right. have gotten out there and this has been absent or missing, That's right. God has wired us to put it back together right. if we'll but obey. And I know, you know, Tony Dungy wrote, you know, the foreword of this book, which says so much <laughs> about the need. Yes. And, and God, you know, putting you in contact with him and having these doors opened because there's such a need in our culture, Freddie. Right now, I heard 39% of children born in the U.S. today are born without dad in the home. Mm. Then when you couple that with the 52 to 54% divorce rate, you're talking 60 to 70% of children today mm -hmm. at some point in their childhood likely not having dad there in the house. Mm. And so we are truly, as Coach Dungy said, an epidemic right now of fatherlessness in our nation, which is simply causing more wrath, more confusion, yeah. more uh, hatred, more wrath. All, all these things are going on and young people are saying, I don't know who I am. Yeah. Because a part of who you are, you see in your father. That's right. You see in, okay, and you start questioning your value. If if my dad's not there, if he did, doesn't take the time to call me That's or spend right. time with me, then how valuable am I really? Mm -hmm. But the good news is this, God says you're so valuable valuable. I sent Jesus specifically with you in mind because Amen. when Jesus announced himself mm -hmm. in his earthly ministry in Luke chapter 4, he says, the spirit of the Lord is upon mm -hmm. me. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Amen. And one of the scriptures that God reminded me that we address in this book is in, Ephes in Hebrews chapter 4, where it talks about that the word of God is quick, yes. powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and joy tomorrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Amen. God says, I know everything that's going on in your heart, even when you don't tell somebody else, even when you're crying in here, but you won't let the tears come out here. Mm -hmm. I know what's in there. And I want to heal that area, that thing that you put a wall up that you don't think about anymore mm -hmm. and you just try to focus on these other areas. No, mm -hmm. I love you enough to heal that very thing. Amen. And to understand that God is that healer. Yes. And that even if dad hasn't been on the scene and if that's impossible to re-engage him or he's passed on or we yes. don't know who he is, that God wants to heal that place. That's right. I heard that in, 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 in a prison they offered Mother's Day cards for the prisoners mm -hmm. to give to their moms for Mother's Day and they just had so many requests. But when it was Father's Day, nobody requested a free card. Mm. Uh, even the incidence of men ending up in prison yes. is higher when dad, and so dad is so important. So if I'm a dad and I'm watching right now, Freddie, and I go on, I get this book, The Dad I Wish I Had, what are you gonna help me with in this book? Well, first of all, you're gonna understand the impact that you have in your children. Mm -hmm. That's the first response that I've heard from dads. They didn't understand truly the impact yeah. that they have just by being That's there. Right. Just being there, making mm -hmm. an effort. Even if you call and it seems like, say, if you're absent and things haven't done, you haven't mm -hmm. done things right the whole time, mm -hmm. by making the effort, you're answering a cry to your That's child. Right. That's right. I had a short testimony a couple weeks ago, heard from a dad who read the book. He had been uh, a drug dealer, had been in jail, done all the wrong things, now gave his heart to the Lord Amen. and is doing things right. Praise the Lord. Found out about the impact that he really has for his daughter and drove over 500 miles to go visit her to take her to school because he said paying child support isn't enough. Amen. And that's where, you know, if I think if men just knew how important, and I think like you said, it's, it's not even what you do. It's not how much money you have. It's that nope. your kids know that you love them. Right. And just getting those words out and just looking at them in their eyes. And, and when they call your name, being there and being happy that they called your name instead of wait five more minutes and I'll be with you, but giving yeah. them that value. And you know, when I look at this and, and I saw that the current cult, uh, coach of the Indianapolis Colts has also endorsed this book and that they're saying in the NFL that they recognize the need to speak to men about That's being right. good fathers. That's right, because most of the guys come from broken homes, mm -hmm. and so the issues that you're seeing in these players and in the negative limelight all is stemming from yeah, self-esteem issues, mm -hmm. not understanding the proper relationships to have with women, how to respect women, right. how to manage money, mm -hmm. all these things, and there's some high-profile names that we could say right. that have 
gone down the wrong pathway mm -hmm. because they didn't have the proper example in their home. Yes. And it's time to stop that generational curse now yes, it is. and start right here That's and right. turn to our generation to right. be the people that God intends for us to That's be. That's right. Because it affects not only those individual families, and it's not even enough to look at the NFL and say, oh, they're all going the wrong way and they don't need to be doing this. The